Hey everybody, welcome back to Gray County Grillin'. I'm Chris. Today we are going to make some smoked stuffed burgers. We're gonna start them out on the Traeger, get them smoked on there, and to finish them off, we're gonna fire out the Blackstone to get them seared. Stick around, these are gonna be awesome. All right, let's assemble our stuffed burgers. Got our ground beef here in the bowl. Got about two and a half pounds. I've also got a diced onion here as well. We'll dump that in. One egg, just to kind of help bind things up a little bit. And then we're going to be using some Pit Boss Mushroom Swiss Burger Seasoning. Never used it before. Used their bacon and cheddar before, which was really good. And then you're just gonna get in and mix it all together. Try not to fling too much of it around, as I just did. All right, there we go. Next, we'll grab the burger press and we'll get them assembled. And here's the burger press that we're gonna be using. So first step, grab some ground beef, put it on the bottom. Use your press to push it out flat. And then just kind of take a little bit out of the middle there. Now this press comes with a separate piece there. You can press a spot in the middle of your burger a little bit. So we'll go ahead and try that. And we've got some cut up Gouda. That will just stick in there like that. Take some more ground beef, press it over the top. And then give the whole thing a press. And there is our stuffed burger. Right, we're gonna go and do the rest of these up and come right back. All right, we got the Traeger going. We got it set to 180, and that's the temperature we are gonna smoke these things at. Here are the burgers. I got seven pretty decent sized ones on there. So that's not too bad at all. So let's get them on the Traeger. And as I said, we are just going to smoke these on the pellet grill once we've got them to the desired internal temperature. We're going to put them on the Blackstone to sear them off. There we go. So today we are running some Pitmaster's Choice premium pellets right there. And this is their premium fruit blend. If you've never used Pitmaster's Choice before, I highly recommend it. This is my second bag of them that I've gone through. They are, I think, 40 pound bags, uh, and they are fantastic. I had, um, can't remember the first type, but they were amazing as well, and these premium fruit blend are awesome. I'm definitely gonna pick up some more. If you get a chance to, I highly suggest you grab some as well. It may be the beginning of March, but it is an absolutely gorgeous day today. Out in the back deck, about 16 degrees Celsius. Seasonal is about three, so yeah, it is fantastic out here. Great day for burgers. All right, these burgers have been going for about a half hour now. Let's open up, take a look. All right. Zoom in a little bit. Okay, let's check them with the probe. And oh, they are nowhere near done. That one was reading 101 Fahrenheit. I want to get them to at least 150 before I move them over to the Blackstone. 
So we're gonna turn the heat up just a little bit. We're gonna go up to uh, 225 here on the Traeger and hopefully that will uh, speed them along a little bit. They smell fantastic though, so I can't wait to give them a try. Hey, we're at about one hour and these burgers are looking amazing. The color has turned a nice smoky red on them. You can see there, they look fantastic. They're not quite there yet. Uh, one that I've just probed was about uh, 135 internal temperature. So we got a little bit more yet, but once they get there, then we're gonna get them on the Blackstone and get them seared off. All right, these burgers are now done. Open them up here, take a look. You can see a couple of them started to leak a little bit. That's all right. Yeah, this one's gonna hit 150, 149, 150, come on, there we go, 150, all right. So I'm gonna pull these off. I got the Blackstone already warmed up, and we'll get them over there and get them seared. All right, the Blackstone is ready to go, and here are our burgers. These look freaking awesome. Can't wait to give them a try. They smell amazing as well. Now let's get them on All right, we're not going to do too long. We'll just uh, leave them on there maybe I don't know minute or two each side, flip them over, and that'll be it. And now we'll just give them a flip. There we go. Oh, these are looking amazing. Getting a good crust on them on that side. And we'll just let them go for another minute on this side before we pull them off. I think we are good. We're going to pull these off. And uh, I'm going to try one before I take it in. Because I think these are going to taste fantastic. All right. I'm just going to give one a try quick. These are all the burgers, all done. These look amazing. I'm gonna cut one in half. Just give it a little try. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks awesome. Right, I'm gonna cut a little corner off it. Give it a try. Oh, that is a good burger, wow. Yes, these are gonna be fantastic. Well, thanks for watching everybody. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button, give me a like. And don't forget to comment down below, share it with your friends, and uh, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Well, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Don't forget about my Amazon affiliate links in the bottom. You can check those out as well.